Content is so important for SEO, but it takes a lot of time to be able to create really good content. Well, that is unless you're using one of those AI content creation tools like Jasper. I did a whole video on this to show you how to create excellent content in a fraction of the time. At the time, it was called conversion. And now it just has a new name, but it's the same great tool. So I'll link to that down below. But back to the point of this video, no matter how you create content, you don't want to spend your time creating all this content that isn't going to rank for you. So I want to show you how in seconds you can have specific recommendations on how to create SEO friendly content for the keyword you are targeting based on the competition that is already ranking in the top 10 positions. So here's how to do this. To do this, we are going to use the SEMrush SEO content template, which is something you can do even if you have a free account. All you need to do is type in your target keywords, click on create SEO template, here you'll be able to see the top rank sites. And as you scroll down, you will receive the specific key recommendations that are based on who is already ranking in those top 10 spots. So here, based on your keywords, you're gonna find some semantically related keywords. You wanna make sure that you include these relevant keywords within your content. And if you're looking for specific backlinks in order to boost this page's ranking, these are some of the backlinks you may want to consider that some of the top ranking competitors have for this particular keyword. And this tells you about your readability skill. The higher the number, the better based out of a scale of 100. So you know that you want yours to be easy to read. So you want to use simple terminology, make sure you have your formatting right. And here, this is going to tell you how many words you should actually write. So based on the competition, if you want to outperform them, you should at least write 2,025 words. So that way, if you're about to crank out an article at a thousand words and you think you've done great, well, based on the competition, it's not going to outperform them. So you don't bother wasting your time unless you're going to do it right. And here you'll be able to see how your competitors use that target keyword or keywords. So you can take a look at the titles that are there. You can see how they use it in their meta description to give you a better idea of what you should actually be doing when you're writing your own meta title and description. So here at the bottom, we have the basic recommendations, what you want to do for your page title, your meta description, your H1 tag within your text as well, in order to be able to rank for that keyword there. So this is exactly how you can get a step ahead before you ever hit that publish button. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to drop a comment down below. Thank you as always for watching and I'll catch you next time.